Welcome to the Scientific Investor channel. I have some insightful information to share with you guys today. This will actually show the fundamentals of this asset class we are discussing here. You know, the digital assets are going to be the future of financial industry. It will be that sooner or later, say in the next five years or 10 years, that will happen. Now we'll actually uh, have some tweets which showcase, you know, the general traditional financial in industry and what's happening in the background, you know, what we don't know. Then, yeah, I saw a couple of tweets uh, on Twitter and I was really surprised about what's happening inside YouTube. Now, personally, I'm also a YouTuber who do uh, talk about digital assets. So, you know, as a new YouTube channel, now I'm confused what to talk, what not to talk. But um, now, now I'm actually trying to understand from YouTube's uh, uh, own rules what should be done and what should not be done. So in order to understand if I'm doing something wrong, I don't want to repeat that. Mm -hmm. Then I saw yeah other tweets as well from other um, guys who were talking about our favorite digital asset XRP and their video has been taken down. So uh, we'll have to look further like what's going to happen. Now. We'll actually look at uh, technicals of our digital assets as well and uh, try to discuss uh, similar patterns or, uh, you know, scenarios forming in the charts. Say this is a daily chart. We'll go through different scenarios where they, where we had, you know, similar indications from the MACD, stochastic RSI and the price fluctuation. So prior to that, uh, I would like to request you guys, if you guys like the content I provide on a regular basis, please do support the channel. I need more subscribers. This is a new channel. I need your support. If you guys like the content, please do like the video. If you have any suggestions to improve the quality and value of the content I provide, please let me know in the comment section below. Now moving on to the first one, this is from uh, Real XRP Boy. So it's showcasing that uh, all on XRP and all I'm saying so when we guys go into that yeah it's not in English but as you can see that it's connecting to banks uh -huh. and you have an XRP uh, ledger in between and XRP is being transferred to change into and out of fiat currencies so that's not illegal right that's legal now you can see a lot of use cases forming with the name of Swift uh -huh. and others inside this uh, financial system and that's connecting XRP so that's what I told in the f first time that this is gonna be the future of financial industry now crypto exchange BitTrue goes all in on XRP expands huge number of base pairs on its platform now that's gonna be huge for them because they will be getting a lot of new customers who are you know long on XRP and who will be holding and trading for next say 10 decades i don't know but at least for next three four decades that's for sure the next one is from uh, peter bass uh, it's showing ripple news banks will actively implement ripple xrp now banks will actively implement ripple xrp to improve their position in financial transfers many experts predict great success for their ripples xrp now i don't directly say that it's ripples xrp but you know yeah it can be connected say this company is promoting these digital assets so yeah at, to an extent you can actually state that but it's not actually true at all times now the next one is from xrp alliance it shows that uh, you know credits to uh, mr fresh time showing that built-in ecb now this is, you know related to uh european central bank and within that you can see the supported currencies are euro for an exchange reference rate and xrp so that means they're using digital asset xrp as a bridge currency to uh, connect the fiat currencies say euro say from there if they're sending to anywhere else in the world they are they will be using this so ripple data api will be suitable for development and experimental use only so at present they're using it for that now if they are not interested to use that in a longer time frame then say i don't think the banks will be investing their time and money on this to understand whether that's suitable now the next one is from XRP Darren. It's showing that the World Bank, DLT ecosystem and future of digital finance. Now we talk about this a lot in this channel. A new financial system is gonna be laid out and you know the baby boomers and others 
who are not believing in this uh, will have a difficult time ahead if this is going to happen in near future. Say, look at China. In that nation, fiat currencies are rarely used. Now, it's not only China. There are some uh, countries in Europe as well. They are cashless society. But yes, they do use credit cards, whereas in China, they don't use that. They use their mobile wallet. You know, they transfer money from their mobile wallet. And even if it's a 80-year-old or 20-year-old, they are using that system currently. Even if you go to a traditional market, you're using that system currently. So that's going to affect almost all the nations sooner or later because, you know, they are, I mean, the governments are creating fiat currencies and that costs them a lot. So if, if they're going cashless, they can save something from that. And then if they are going to a new system, they don't need, you know, the credit card systems, the service fees and all that shit. The next one is from again from uh, Relix Happy Boy. What is an Internet of Value and how do we enable it? Now this is a video from uh, Marjan Delantine. If you want to listen to that, then that's going to be information for you guys. This is actually showcasing that how we can enable the Internet of Value. Now here we, when we talk about Internet of Value, it's mostly like using XRP as a bridge currency throughout the interledger. Say you have 10 ledgers and you have different assets use, being used in all those uh ledgers now if they want to connect to one other they can't actually send their asset to another one so they need someone to bridge it right so xrp is acting as a bridge asset there now the next one is from Jane so jackson showing that china's progress passes china oh, sorry man, that's my mistake china's congress passes cryptography law effective from january 1 2020 now china's is actually coming up with a cryptography law so that i think they are looking at a blockchain industry and begin making that a bit competitive but you know i don't think they are that much high on cryptocurrencies at the moment you know it's governments we don't know what they will be thinking at the back but if they're implementing something you have to think if they're not interested in this asset class why would they actually look at cryptography law they'll only look at the blockchain and as far as i know that uh cryptocurrencies are the crypto coins are actually rewards for the miners and those who keep the security of that blockchain so i think that's essential now this is from xrp girl soon we will be the first crypto by market cap now yes we all are xrp believers in the xrp community you know considering others in this digital asset xrp has a large fan base reason is its use case it's technical you know the technology is so advanced and no one else came up with this uh, in the near term and i don't think someone is going to beat this in the uh, near future now it's showing xrp's growth potential outbeats most coins on the market now xrp liquidity in its on-demand liquidity corridors is rising while an investor states xrp's growth potential is much stronger than that of all other coins on the crypto market now i completely agree with this because the use case is being implemented as of now if you look at uh, different corridors like philippine uh, mexico you can see that this asset is being used to bridge fiat currencies and the real companies established organizations are using this to solve the friction and cost associated with in those particular area now the next one is from ian nothing showing that germans are queuing to buy gold now, you know, the limit has been uh, dropped from 10,000 to 2,000. Only two years before it was 15,000 pounds, uh, 15,000 euros. So, you know, the uh, rate at which you can buy gold is coming down and governments are, you know, enabling people to buy gold. Now, in my aspect, I'll say that it's kind of uh, allowing them to buy gold instead of going into digital assets because they don't want them to use digital assets because, you know, that will reduce the capability of governments to censor or, you know, to say, no, you can't do that. Say, if I'm sending money to my loud ones in another nation, why the shit do I have to wait for two, three days and pay six to eight percentage in fee? I don't want to do that, right? So that's why if I'm using a digital asset, I can do that in seconds with minimal fees compared to what I'm paying in uh, financial institution now this is from spiro if you guys really want to go through this i'll uh, support you guys uh, this is in my channel or you can directly visit uh, at o underscore rips this is actually showcasing that if a 12 year old child can understand what's happening in the banking industry why can't you understand that 
now in our channel we have actually discussed about this uh, in a video previously talking about how money is created and how the inflation rate and interest rate is reducing your purchase power now most of the common man do not understand this they keep their money in the banks and they are looting them they don't understand why because say for an example we as we discussed previously you put five dollars in your bank account uh, say it's a dollar or yen or any other currency which you like say you can buy five coffee with that five dollars as of now mm -hmm. consider after five years will you be able to do the same no that's for sure right because the inflation is there say if you're taking some countries that it has two percentage others six percent others 10 20 and if you take countries like venezuela you have you know skyrocketing inflation rates 10,000 12,000 so yeah we don't have to talk about all this but say if you're buying the same five dollars of digital assets today and looking to buy a coffee today yeah it'll be more or less same five coffees but after five years it may be 50 coffees 500 coffees now that's just pure speculation but if you look at the history it supports what i'm talking say take last 10 years and look how the value of fiat currencies has depreciated and look at the digital assets the price of their has been appreciating from last 10 years just look at the lows put in by say bitcoin mm -hmm. take each year 2013 14 15 16 come to 2019 as of now you can see the low is not that big uh -huh. see if i'm looking back to my home country if i had 10 indian rupees i could have say bought something five years before now today i can't even buy you know half of that or uh, you know quarter of that same thing with that same amount now that's because the purchasing power is going so down and the salaries is not going up you know all the related items are stagnant whereas just the inflation is going up and government is printing more money now this child is actually explaining that brilliantly if you guys want to go through that i think that that's gonna help you a lot now this is specifically from Stephen bull from dave about uh, why youtube is deleting that it's showing because 99 percent of the crypto related videos are something like this coin that coin will 10x 100x 1000x by this year that year blah 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 which is full of shit and might affect new investors in a bad way now if channels are actually discussing like this and then i completely agree unless you are looking for a short-term trade you know what we discuss in this channel is about long-term perspective say for next five years ten years uh -huh. and we are not talking about you know 10x to 100x and 1000x we are looking at the history and uh, you know as every financial investors experience established investor states history rhymes itself so if that is true then we are looking back to the history to indicate us what's going to happen what's the return on our investment right we are not actually just speculating right we are looking back at the history uh -huh, looking at the technical indicators now this is what everyone do in say uh, if they are doing forex if they are trading gold silver dollar or anything it's the same process right so anyway we are going to discuss now about xrp now this is in a daily time frame as we can see i'm going to connect a bit of a technical say this won't be that difficult if uh, it's difficult please do let me know i'll try to make this as simple as possible if there are new guys i know if you guys are listening to me or you guys have been in the community for a long time you'll understand this in seconds anyway now this is stochastic rsi and the bottom it's uh macd now i'll just turn the color of macd the blue one to white so it'll be easy to understand now if the white line is actually crossing the red line to the upside that's a positive cross in macd and that's gonna be huge and at the same time you can see that the volume will be bouncing into the positive side and that's really good for the price now if at the same time the stochastic rsi is at our bot area that's also a positive sign now why i'm saying this i'll zoom a bit out and showcase uh, what has happened previously when the price was in the similar range Mm -hmm. and the stochastic rsi was around the overbought area the macd was going to cross to the upside if you see that what you can see is the price did appreciate now at that particular aspect it was around 60 percent now we are not sure whether the price will be appreciating the similar percentage but i personally expect it to go a bit up based on these technicals now if i zoom out even a more a bit more and look at it uh, 
on a different time frame say august uh, 12th of 2019 now if you look at that what you can see is say uh, sorry that's my mistake august uh, 12th august of 2018 you can see that the price was here it's coming down 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 and getting a bit of consolidation and at the same time the macd was going to cross to the upside and the stochastic rsi was overbought now from that time price corrected a bit and then moved to the upside now yes almost all the time it is not repeating itself instead it is rhyming itself so if you are prepared to take that possibility then you will have a potential profit now this is another case now i'll just move the chart to this side so it's visible for you guys now look at that the price was coming to the downside and we have a similar pattern to that of what we are having now mm -hmm. and at present you can see the stochastic rsi is at the top and the macd was going to cross to the upside price was moving to the downside but suddenly it all shifted the price was just getting bump volume then it's moving to the upside now this is what i was talking about like if you guys understand uh, what i'm trying to explain here then i believe you will have the same perspective uh, like me so now this is not just my perspective if you guys want to go through the chart you'll understand what i'm trying to illustrate now we'll actually go into a uh, one hour chart of uh, xrp and uh, try to put a perspective on what's happening now now in our last video we actually discussed that the price is actually moving to the upside like this but it has broken to the downside now that's actually a negative case you should be cautious if the price is gonna go a bit down now if you're a short-term trader you know in this channel we don't always support the short-term trading because cryptocurrency is so volatile you can't predict what's gonna happen but if you are doing that then you should be looking at the moving averages if they are actually coming closer then just there is a potential chance that the price may go down because this will be acting as a resistance in this particular area along with this trend line support previously and now turned into resistance so the possibility is that the price can revisit this area so that's the low we put previously and if it's not being held then we may see lower lows so you should so in that aspect you should be prepared now looking at a four hour chart for xrp zooming a bit out and looking at the overall trend now we can see that in overall general trend if we zoom out and draw a couple of lines say this will be the support area as uh, we know and this will be the resistance area so if the price is not moving that much this is gonna be bad now if the price doesn't manage to come above this moving average that's gonna be bad because what we can see here is the 20 day moving average is gonna cross 50 day moving average to the downside and that's a bad news now if we are looking at that on a 12 hour chart the price is still below the 20 day moving average and there is no bad cross or the death cross so now we'll actually move on uh, to discuss uh, the price of uh, ether and then we'll look at uh, btc then we'll compare xrp and btc in charts now for me and my eyes i see uh, the chart of ether is acting more or less similar to that of a btc chart so the pattern is forming like this and btc is also trading within this trading range i mean this pattern so as you can see that the price has visited the bottom so it's kind of bouncing from there i don't know whether the price will be retesting that area but what i can indicate is the rsi is at the top and the macd is crossing to the upside now usually in a bull run that's a positive sign but as of now we are in a negative trend or a bear market so the correction for this particular uh, up, upside is almost uh, completed now that's my perspective because we are already came around 66 percentage down because if we look at the chart of uh, ether and look at the history we can see that the price corrections have been there and we have been correcting to that area say minus 70 percentage minus 60 percentage so say if that minus 70 percentage is to happen here say this is our top which is at 362 and the 72 percentage or 70 yeah 72 percentage will be somewhere around 99 dollars now if that happens say even my some of my positions would be uh, taken out you know the leverage some of my leverage positions have stop loss around 100 so yes if the price is going to visit around 99 even my positions will be taken out but yes as um, if the price is moving towards 105 then yes for sure i'll be lowering my stop loss because i believe in this asset class for long term 
so i'll take down my stop loss i'll just uh, add in more uh, margin now we'll actually look at uh, xrp to btc uh, and uh, see how the price is actually reflecting there now as we discussed previously the price is still stagnant see from last two three days the price is moving at the same area now if you look at that on a four hour chart yes you can see that the price actually came a bit down now it bounced a bit then it retested this area now if we can call this a double bottom i'm not sure about that as of now because the pattern is not yet completed so if we need that to happen then uh, this area say this support and resistance area needs to be broken so if it is being broken to the upside we can consider this as a double bottom that's a potential uh, trend reversal pattern so if that happens then that should be good unless we break above the 200 day moving average on a daily chart because on a daily chart it's still way up here now we look at our BTC to USD and uh, we'll uh, wrap up our video there. So this is BTC to uh, USD and as we discussed previously for Ether, we can see that the uh, channel is still valid for uh, BTC and as other uh, chart analysis analyst uh, states, you can see that this is either a double bottom because it's bottoming at the similar area or it's respecting this trend line support now once it was bounced from this area the stochastic rsi is at the top and the macd crossed to the upside now that's actually positive news but the price didn't actually manage to come above the 20 50 and 200 day moving average this moving average area is still acting as a resistance so unless we manage to come above this price range it's still bearish but yes if you are a potential investor looking to invest in this asset class for the next five years you know without leveraging yourself then it should be a good area because you know nothing is predictable in the crypto sphere but you can be prepared considering what happened in the history if you look back at the history there was a correction yeah we all agree there was a correction there was a capitulation then there was a correction then once we had first leg higher we corrected to the downside now yes we did correct to the downside so if you guys want to check what was happening during that time then zoom in a bit on what was happening during that area say we appreciated uh, 350 percentage so just take 350 percentage from the bottom you'll see it's some it's somewhere here right so once we reach that price point we'll check how much was the correction bitcoin made during that run up high so it was around uh, 35 consider 35 percentage so if we look at what's happening now you can understand that the price didn't manage to hold around 33 percentage whereas it corrected around 50 percentage so for me i consider that a more valid area to buy because say this was 3000 now this is uh, 6200 so it's kind of doubled right yeah if you didn't manage to get uh, you take out your profit around 14000 still you double your money here which financial institution like banks or others will be giving you that no nothing right so uh, that's why i'm so bullish about this asset class now as we discussed the fundamentals of this asset class is actually increasing day by day so if you guys uh, want to keep updated about this uh, you can visit my channel on a regular basis i'll be coming up with uh, all the positive and negative news as it comes so that's it for today i'll be wrapping up the video here i would like to request you guys again if you guys like the content i provide on a daily basis please do support the channel so hit the subscribe and like button i'll meet you guys on my next video bye for now